we are in the recording studio recording uh, uh, string quartet pieces by Garth Knox. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the Ragazzi Quartet from the Netherlands and um, we're very, very honored to be here with the composer himself uh, to play your pieces. Well, I'm very honored and pleased to be with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> enjoying it's a it lot very of much. Fun. It's a lot of fun actually. Yeah, yes. to collaborate in this way, it's quite unique. It is unique, yeah. 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 It's unique for me to actually play on your CD as well, exactly. although I'm not in the Ragazzi Quartet, yeah. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> yeah. We uh, um, learned about your music by the fabulous little movie clips by Diamanda Dram. All right, The Violin Spaces. The Violin Spaces. Yeah. And then we thought this composer is so interesting. I think we just contacted you. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I wrote this violin spaces because they're a follow-up to my viola spaces. My, I'm interested in string, exploring string sounds, because I used to play an Arditi quartet where we did a lot of contemporary music. And yes. We had lots, lots of interesting you know, techniques to learn. But then we found we were playing them in pieces where you often didn't hear the techniques very well. Or if we did, there was a very small contemporary audience okay. only for that. And it seemed to me that these sounds were actually more interesting than that. That, yeah. that everybody could enjoy these, these, these sounds. You know, players and audiences, if you could just bring the sounds, give them their own place, give them their own pieces. Exactly, because usually when I, when I used to play something uh, extraordinary, uh, extraordinary like that, it's mostly for one little moment That's in right. a piece. Yeah. And now there are all of yeah. these pieces which were a technique like that is highlighted and is, uh, you can hear it in its full richness. That's right, yeah, the technique is the subject matter of the pool piece. Yes. In fact, so it's the, you really get a chance to hear it, yeah. Yeah. Then you wrote, we commissioned a string quartet. That's right, yes. You, had the, you came to you with this idea of a theme of the 1920s, compare the 1920s and the 2020s. So that was the starting point of the reflection, yeah. which is why the last moment is a Charleston, because that's a very, a very 20s thing to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really fun that you somehow, the retrospect and the future is combined, because mm -hmm. I find your techniques, so, yeah, the sound colors are somewhat futuristic as well. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, well, the music itself is actually quite normal. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And you can, is, there's always a way into my music. I, mean, I, I make it as simple as I can. But what I'm really interested in is in the sound, not, yeah. not so much the notes and the rhythms, but the actual sound. Yeah. And we, when putting it, you know, giving it some, some easy, to, not easy rhythms, but simple rhythms and direct rhythms and direct harmonies, then you can really concentrate on the sound, which yeah. is what I'm interested in. Yeah. For us, it was quite challenging uh, to learn <laughs> because, well, from our music education on, you are so trained in more or less the same muscular movements yes. and now to do something completely opposite and to use all of your fingers in a different <laughs> way, it's yeah. like reprogramming your brain. Yes, yes it is, yeah. But yeah. I always think um, if you want to do something right, you first have to experiment doing it wrong and then you understand what right yeah. is. So going outside the limits shows you where your limits are. Yeah. And then sometimes you can find nice sounds outside the limits if you're listening in a different way. Yeah. So, and I, always, I, I have a great... I think, I think music should be enjoyable, it should be, it's fun. Mm. I, mean, I, I, I love music, I, I get, get pleasure out of it and I want other players to get pleasure out of it and I want the audiences to get pleasure out of it because it's a stimulating thing to do when it's done well. And so there's always a, a sort of joy somewhere. Yeah, well, I music. think you're, there are also not so many composers who involve humor in their no. compositions and I think no. yours is really fun. Always no. when we play and no. there's laughter in the audience and no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm pleased. When we whip uh, yeah. towards them, they are like, woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so no, it's, it should uh, be fun. Yeah. yeah. The one that's not fun, well, it is fun the way in, in, in your quartet is the lockdown blues, but yes. that's because of COVID. You know, we were all stuck and couldn't play with each other and we're so frustrated. Yeah. So I made this very frustrating thing, goes round and round, goes nowhere. It's actually quite nice, but, but you know, it's, that was what, one of the less joyful, it's, yeah. but, but it, 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 it's still fun, but yeah, in a second degree exactly. kind of yeah. way. Yeah. Mm. 
And then I was so pleased when you, you played my first quartet, the Satellites one, which is full of these techniques. Because in having had the experience of the second one, you were really up for it and everything. And you, I thought you played it so well. And then I was, I, I said, you know, would you consider recording perhaps the, yeah. the quartets? And I was great. I was very pleased when you took up the idea. Yeah. Well, it's really, um, we find it very interesting and fun and important to well, the, the 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 fun thing about this album is that we really have something to add to all of the existing uh, uh, recorded uh, repertoire that's around it because this is all, yeah, fresh. Yeah, it is, yeah. And one thing, very original thing about this CD is that the quartet each play a solo piece, which is quite unusual. Usually, quartet's yes. a quartet, and I like this idea of quartet being a quartet, of course, but also having four individuals who come together to form the quartet. On this CD, you can hear everybody playing on their own, which is quite something. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, for us, us it's also the first time <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> to record a solo on CD. Yeah, it's, you just, you mentioned earlier that it's like, it, make, it makes me also think of a diamond, yes. that you have all these reflections and each, uh, uh, when you turn it, um, there are different reflections, so there's a solo and then a duet and then you can he hear the full thing and yeah, yeah. it's a nice diverse palette. It is, yeah. Another original thing about this CD is that there's a, there's a solo quartet on it. In fact, there are two string quartets played by the, the Gazzi Quartet. And then I wrote this piece during the lockdown of a, when we couldn't play chamber music, yeah. of a, a quartet for one player, yes. which used the four strings as the four instruments of the quartet. And I was very pleased when you suggested including it on the CD. So we have two real quartets, and then a solo quartet for solo viola, which reflects the time we live in. Yeah. And then these solo pieces, I'm very pleased with the shape of how it came out. And, and you even recorded it in different <laughs> places in the space, right? Yes, so do, yes. if you it's listen to it, out. it will move from one side to the, to the other. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess for the audience who is listening to this new album, it will be also a, a, a new experience. I think yes, for right? sure, yes. Yeah. Original new experiences. But anyway, it's going to break. We've had a lot of fun making it, I think. Yeah. And we hope that this will be transmitted when people listen to it. Yeah, definitely. 